in the motor assembly or PCB assembly, you need to remove the clean head assembly and power cord in a previous section of this film. With those parts removed, you should detach the internal on the front of the duct assembly. You should turn the machine over and then do the six screws in the LMC lower motor. There are actually seven screws exposed, but there is no need to undo this screw in the front SMC or side motor cover only. Six screws and the LMC should lift directly off the base of the duct assembly. The LMC lower motor cover 
It's only offered as a single component. So therefore, there is any need to replace it. You'll need to remove all the other components from it first. With the first wheel previously removed to gain access to the air muscle, the remaining wheel and axle can just slide. the rear of the LMC. The U bend cover assembly. Plate, which is this part here, it's attached to the LMC with this one screw. With a screw removed, you can detach the port plate from the clip on the rear twist it off the front. The LMC cover, which is hard to detect, 
but it's actually a separate component here. It's held in place with three clips. Two on the side. the one on the other side, you'll find that all, all three catches the catch at the same time. Very important to note that if the only failure with the product is the LMC cover, so if, for example, there was some cosmetic then it is not necessary to go to the great lengths of stripping down the machine this far to replace it. You can, in fact, gain access to the catch Activated by removing the internal hose assembly and clutch cover from the underside of the cleaner head. The only remaining to remove from the LMC is this small piece of foam called the PCB foam mount in the rear of the LMC. removed if necessary at this point you can replace the long tube in just by carefully removing it from the motor inlet assembly. You can then undo the long one inch screw on the rear.
on the wire and loom on the side of the motor bucket and then carefully detach the wire and loom from the channel around. Loom detached. You can carefully ease the PCB carrier and PCB assembly out of the rear of the duct. Then carefully detach all wires, cables, and connectors from the PCB assembly. the PCB assembly out to the carrier. And if you intended to use it again, keep it on your ESD mat until And then you can carefully release the wire and looms and cables. Rear of the duct in this area here and locked it in place with the bleed valve. You therefore need to remove the bleed valve first.
clockwise a few degrees. Then once twisted, you can carefully. it out from the rear of the duct. All those parts detached and removed. You then need to firmly remove the entire motor bucket as one piece. release it from the rear here by pushing forwards and then once released from the rear you need to lift the entire motor when releasing this is that they're going to cause damage to the plastic but the plastic is in fact very, very tough so you, you can be very Then a case of just pulling it up and releasing the internal cable assembly from the duct at the same time.
to replace the internal cable assembly or the duct. But if you just put it up enough, then you've got enough. work on the motor bucket. With the motor bucket released, you then notice that the wire and loom is a separate component and not a And then firmly press on the motor to mount to release the motor. If replaced in the motor assembly, you'll need to remove the motor mount and fan 
from the top 